Good morning, students. Now, HS in India Mathematics. We are doing integration. Today, we will do integration as a limit of sum. So, what is this? We are going to do this formula first. That is our exercise seven point eight. We will do before that. You have to write this one. Integration a to b f x dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 h and here f a plus f a plus h plus dot 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 f a plus n minus 1 into h is yes. this is called integration as a limit of sum here n h is b minus a and also h tends to 0 when n tends to infinity. Actually before that we have to know something. What is these things? Integration of fx dx means that is we have to integrate fx with respect to dx. Without these two values these are called in indefinite that is definite integral this one that is called indefinite integral integral that is there is no limit is there these are one limit this is upper limit then actual this geometrical meaning is like that suppose this is one x axis and y axis and this is our curve suppose y is equal to fx then if x takes this one as our a and this one as our b then area bounded by this curve with x axis and the line x equal to a and x equal to b this portion is called this value of this one that means geometrically the integration a to b fx dx means area bounded by the curve y is equal to fx x axis and the straight line x equal to a x equal to b here dx means if we take a small thin portion that is why length is dx so then this dx if we take as h a very small term that is if we divide this total area into n rectangles n rectangles then each of length of this one this rectangle if we take as h then here how many division we have done n division so n into h this will be that length that length is what b minus a this if we make this dx that is h is too small it is possible when n is infinite that is n if it is very big term so this is the value of this one integration. Now we will do, if they ask that find the integration by limit sum, then you have to do this way. Exercise 7.8, they have asked not to find the value of this one, they have asked that you find the value with this procedure. So if they ask to solve this, to find this as by this procedure, then how to do here, instead of fx, it is x. So if we take, sorry, I think it is intuition, this is not fx, this is dx, question is wrong a little bit. So here, instead of fx, it is x, dx is to dx. Then, yes, we can write in this form, limit h tends to 0 h f a f x is here x compared if we f x in place of f x it is x so if we write here a that is this lower limit it will be a if we put a plus h then here it will be a plus h whatever be the value if you put a plus n minus 1 h 
value will be a plus n minus 1 h. This is according to this one. So we will put a a plus h then a plus twice h in this way up to a plus n minus 1 h. So students you see limit h tends to 0. Here you see that a is repeated n times. So sum will be n into a. a, a, a. If we take all a together then it will be. Then h term. h if we take then we can write 1, 2, 3 up to n minus 1. So up to n minus 1 term we can get. So this is the thing. Now limit h tends to 0 n h a yes n h a then h square this one formula is n minus 1 into n by 2 this n h b minus a limit h tends to 0 b minus a into a 1 h we will take together h here so n h minus h n h by 2 this so we we came at this position then we got to keep all these things in the same board so of course this will nothing to do here so this limit will be a b minus s square this one limit h tends to 0 if we put only this will affect here it is b minus a minus 0 and it is b minus a by 2 so we get ultimately a b minus a square here b minus a whole thing square so we can write it is if we give to b square or minus twice a b plus s square if we take total LCM twice a b minus twice a square plus b square minus twice a b plus s square these two will cancel and ultimately we get b square minus s square by 2 so this is the answer of the question number one little uh, big it is so yes mark is more than four they will give so you should prepare yourself for this type of big sum now we will do second sum In second sum of this one, they have said find this question number two integration 0 to 5 x plus 1 dx. Students, if we compare with this one earlier sum, you will find what x plus 1 is in place of fx. So, what is fx? fx is here x plus 1 dx same. In place of A, here it is 0. In place of B, it is 5. So we can say NH will be what? NA is B minus A, that is 5. Yes. Now we can write limit H tends to 0. FA, if we put here A, then A plus 1. If we put A plus H, then it is a plus h then plus 1 if we put a plus twice h yes plus 1 in this way finally a plus n minus 1 h plus 1 so this is the formation of this also i have missed h here h i will write 
limit h tends to 0 here a is what 0 so at a time I will put here 0 0 0 because a is 0 here so what do we have left it is 1 1 repeated how many times n times so we will write n then h if we take h common then it will be 1 2 3 and finally n minus 1 limit h tends to 0 n h h into h h square and this sum n minus 1 n divided by 2 n h is our 5 so we will put here the limit h tends to 0 here it is 5 this h square 1 h if we take with this n and 1 h this one so it will be n h minus h so it is 5 minus 0 this n into h is 5 whole thing divided by 2 so we will not put we will put still h then if we want to do this limit h will be 0 and our answer will be 5 plus 25 by 2 that is our answer is 10 35 by 2 definitely it is a square unit area of this one easy process of doing how to check these things 0 to 5 x plus 1 dx its integration is x square by 2 and it is x rule is what to put this one that's you have done but you cannot do this way because your way of writing should be this one that's why they will give marks for here so it is one mark answer so it is 25 by 2 plus 5 minus 0 so this will give what 35 by 2 so actually your answer is correct so yes this is your question number 2 So now we will do question number 3. Question number 3 is integration 2 to 3 x square dx. If we compare with this one here fx is what? Our fx here x square. Instead of a here it is 2 instead of b here it is 3 so n h that is b minus a that is 1 so we can write giving it h tends to 0 h f a that is f2 f2 if we put it is 2 square then if we put here 2 plus h whole thing square then 2 plus twice h whole thing square in this way finally if we put this one f plus n minus 1 h then it is 2 plus n minus 1 h whole thing square then limit h tends to 0 h now if we break here breaking we have to take little uh, this one 2 square this will be 2 square plus 2 into 2 into h plus h square if we do here 2 square 2 into 2 into twice h plus 2 square h square f plus the whole thing square we are doing plus dot 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 2 square plus 2 into 2 into n minus 1 h plus n minus 1 whole thing square h square limit h tends to 0 how many 2 square we have 1 2 3 in this way we will get 2 square n time that is 4 into n 2 square this one then 2 into h 
2 into 2 into twice h. So if we take 2 into 2 is that is 4 h if we take common then it is 1. Here it is 2 and then 3 then dot 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 n minus 1. Then h square if we take common then it will be 1 square 2 square and finally n minus 1 square this one. So it is a big calculation limit h tends to 0. Now h will take nearer 4 n h. This will give 4 h square. This one will give n minus 1 into n by 2 h cube. This is n into n plus 1. Now that is n minus 1 into n by 2 and this is whole thing square we have to put. So we have third degree. Now n h is here 1. So try to utilize this one. Limit h tends to 0. 4. This h if we take this one here. So we will get 2 2 and it will be twice 1 h will come here 1 minus h this is 1 by or by is not there this one only here h cube so you will find there are so many terms n into n plus 1 by 2 whole thing square so h cube so square here 2 h will go here 1 h will go so ultimately this one will be one thing we have to again think that if it is square, this is not the formula. Formula is n into n plus 1 twice n plus 1 by whole thing to the power 6. So it will, I will manage this one here square. I think it is cube, that's why n minus 1 into n into n plus 1. Then inside bracket 2 into this plus 1, that is twice n minus 1 whole thing divided by 6 that is the formula of this one actually formula up to n square is n into n plus 1 into twice n plus 1 by 6 so here h cube 1 h will go here and then this will give 1 minus h 1 h will go there it will be 1 because n h is 1 1 h will go there then it is 2 into 1 minus h whole thing divided by 6 okay students now if we replace this by h by 0, then value will be 4, then 2, then 2 by 6, that is, it is, I think, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. So ultimately, we will get answer is uh, 24, 25 by uh, 3. So we will get this one as 19 by 3 square unit. So student this, this is the sum for the, you and I think you can cope this one you try at home and give your attendance in your comment box that much for today.